Hi, Dr. Goldberg here, just continuing our internal medicine series, uh, discussing the differential diagnosis of hepatitis, or I call transaminitis. We frequently see elevation of liver function tests uh, in the clinic as well as in the hospital. It's important for you to have an understanding of what can do this. We're talking about the ALT, otherwise known pre previously as the SGPT, um, more specific to liver. So the differential diagnosis, there's about 10 things that you've got to know. Uh, number one uh, is viral causes, uh, either hepatitis A, B, C, or D. Those are the most common ones we see here. Uh, but certainly herpes simplex virus, CMV, and EBV will cause uh, hepatitis uh, in the setting of uh, other clinical things that they'll do. Secondly, parasitic infections like toxoplasmosis uh, is always possible uh, in, this, in, this, in the United States. Uh, granulomatous hepatitis, uh, which is caused by fungal infections such as blastomycosis, histoplasmosis, cryptococcosis, or if you're in the southwest, coccidiomycosis or, is always possible. TB or <clears throat> uh, atypical TB. Uh, can cause granulomatous hepatitis, as can sarcoidosis, and uh, even syphilis. Bacterial causes uh, are also uh, an issue. So we see sepsis uh, syndrome, septic shock, uh, bacteria like staph or strep uh, can certainly cause transaminitis. Uh, because of our obesity epidemic, we see NASH. Uh, being a problem, non-alcoholic steatohepatitis. Uh, so that's very r real, and uh, uh, sometimes liver biopsies are required for that. Always remember uh, drugs that patients are taking, especially the statins, uh, but some of the other uh, meds like dilantin or anti-seizure meds uh, can increase the LFTs. Alcoholism, obviously, or alcoholic hepatitis is quite common, usually associated even with fever. Uh, we'll see that frequently in our hospital setting. Iron overload or hemochromatosis uh, should be remembered, as should uh, any type of trauma to the abdomen or ischemia, uh, especially in people who have mesenteric artery ischemia. Lastly, autoimmune hepatitis is key to uh, remember. Uh, causing primary biliary cirrhosis uh, problems uh, with autoantibodies uh, to uh, smooth muscle or mitochondria. So that's kind of a, a waste paper basket of uh, the causes of hepatitis or transaminitis and a differential diagnosis that you should uh, remember because we do see a lot of elevation of LFTs. Thanks, Dr. Goldberg signing off.